This kind of bonding's always special, but it takes on a different meaning on Father's Day. It creates the kind of memories that will last you a lifetime. And it's good to think about them, let me tell you. Happy Father's Day, everybody. We welcome you to Fenway Park here in Boston. Game three of a three-game set with the Boston Red Sox. This is Mariner Baseball, Dave Sims, Mike Flowers. And right now we take a look at the Mariner batting order that will face veteran left-hander David Price. And with the lefty, a couple of changes in the lineup. Franklin Gutierrez is going to hit second. Hopefully we have a repeat of what he did on Friday. A couple of home runs and six RBIs for Gutierrez. The DA to clean up hitter Nelson Cruz's career against David Price. 364 with a couple of home runs. Chris Iannetta, he's been hot in his last 11 games. A 389 batting average, two home runs and six RBIs for Iannetta. David Price on the air. 7-4 record, a 4 5 2 ERA, 102 strikeouts at 91 and two thirds. So a lot of strikeouts for Price. Opponents hitting 233. He has given up 12 home runs. Take a look at the defense for the Red Sox, brought to you by American Family Insurance. Jackie Bradley Jr. in center field. He anchors a speedy outfield for the Red Sox. Bogarts and Pedroia will play up the middle. Christian Vasquez getting his second start behind the plate in this series. And for David. Price in his last outing against the Orioles. He lost the game, went eight innings, just five hits, but three earned runs. Gave up a couple of home runs in that game. Didn't walk anybody in 11 strikeouts for Price. Price looking for his first win since May 24th against Colorado. Here we go. Cattell Marte leading off for the Mariners. And the first pitch in there for a strike. Ben May has balls and strikes today. Trip Gibson at first, Jerry Lane at second, and Hunter Wendelstadt at third. Marte, four for 22 on the road trip. His first look at David Price. Or David Price still has the good fastball. His average fastball this year, 93 miles an hour, but he will touch 95 at times. Ground ball, third base to Travis Shaw. Three pitches, one out. Can't beat this. 80 degrees, blue sky above, plenty of sunshine as we get underway here in Boston, Massachusetts. And hope you dads back in the great Pacific Northwest. Enjoying breakfast in bed right now. Kids having brought it to you. Talk to my brother in law who's out west. I gotta go. The kids are bringing in breakfast. <laughs> There's Goody. I like the uniforms today. Yeah, you know, I, I like the Columbia slash Carolina blue. The blue for dads and everything. And I think it, it's, it's nice. Pleasing to the eye, except the numbers from the gray are a little bit difficult to see, but hey, we know our guys. That's right. Mentioned Price with an average fastball at 93. You also see a cutter about 88 miles an hour. He will try to use that pitch to get in on the hands of the righties. Makes in a change up and a curveball. Price going against Goody, who's in his last 11 games in this ballpark. 436, five homers, 12 runs batted in. Way out front there, one and two. That's the good change up. Dave Price has struggled here in Fenway. It's four and two, but a 5-2-6 ERA yeah. for him in eight games. What do they attribute that to? I not really walking many guys. I think it's the home run ball. He's given up 12 home runs this year. Swing and a miss. Goody's gone. Okay, good change ups. We'll take a closer look at David Price. Mentioned his fastball at about 93 miles an hour. Opponents hitting just 224. His curveball has been a good pitch for him. Opponents hitting 200. See the cutter at 257, batting average 88 miles an hour, and his changeup with Franklin Gutierrez just saw a couple of them. Opponents hitting 238, right around 84 on the changeup. Bring up Robinson Cano. He's like watching him go through his pregame, his pre at first at bat routine, just like Junior. Digs his hold, says hello to the catcher and the umpire. Now he's ready to rock. Seven game hitting streak, 11 for his last 33. He and David Price know each other well. 
Cano far and away more at bats against Price than anybody in the lineup. 70 at bats, hitting 271 in his career with a home run off of Price. Price with Tampa Bay for many years, so that would be nine series or six series, beg your pardon, six series a year. Those two combatants. Price last year with Detroit and Toronto. Line drive, base hit. Bobby will hold it first with a two out single. Set it up nicely for Mr. Cruz. We'll take a look at the swing. Hanging breaking ball, curveball right in the middle of the plate. Able to take advantage of it. Cano and Mark Teixeira had most of bats against David Price. Mentioned the numbers when we're doing the lineups on Cruz. This is the guy you want at the plate today, hitting 364 with a couple of home runs off of Price. The other thing that jumps out at me, Mike, when I was going through the numbers, he's 0 for 11. I like picking guys when they're 0 for like this. Well, especially him, because he typically, yeah. when he breaks out of it, he breaks out of it in a big way. No. High fly ball going foul. If the Mariners can get on a nice little run here, the darn Texas team will not lose. Two in the eighth, two in the ninth last uh, yesterday afternoon. Matter of fact, Aaron Goldsmith called that on Fox. And they continue to rumble. Texas Rangers. Now they they are 13 and 4 in June. Yeah, won five in a row. Eight out of their last 10. The Rangers now up seven and a half on the Mariners. Second place. Nelson Cruz had a good look at the cut fastball. You can see in off the plate at 89 miles an hour. Price broke in with the Rays, was with them from 08 into the 14th season. Strike three, call. Mariners are done. No runs a hit, no errors. A man left. Disbelieving Nelson Cruz. Red Sox coming to bat. to return to form that he showed on June 8th when he dominated Cleveland. Eight shutout innings, three hits, and 11 Ks. Here's the lineup, and it's a potent one for the Boston Red Sox. And we'll start with Mookie Betts. A lot of speed at the top of the lineup for the Red Sox. He leads the club in stolen base. 60 runs scored this season, tied for first in the American League. Bogart's hitting 352. That leads the American League in hitting Jackie Bradley Jr., his 12th home run in yesterday's ball game. And Christian Vasquez was two for three yesterday. He will round out the nine for the Red Sox for Taiwan. 3-6 record, a 3-6-9.
ERA, 67 strikeouts, only 16 walks and 70 and two-thirds. Opponents hitting 235 against them. And a look at the defense brought to you by American Family Insurance. Sean O'Malley getting the start in left field, so Aoki getting the afternoon off. Franklin Gutierrez back out in right field. Dejo Lee getting the start at first base. Chris Iannetta, a rare day off for him yesterday, back behind the plate this afternoon. Taiwan in his last outing, just three and a third. Again, an Achilles problem. Just three hits, but three earned runs for Taiwan. First pitch strike to Mookie Betts. It's our third game here. Marvel every time you open up the stat page, it's all underlined with Red Sox and a lot of Mariners. This is a, a just a stunningly good offensive ball club. Number one in batting, runs, hits, eighth in homers, number one in on-base percentage and slugging, fourth in stolen bases, scoring 5.79 runs per ball game. First, the American League. The Mariners are second at 5.0. John Farrell, skipper for the Boston Red Sox. Up the middle, base hit. We talked to Mel Stoudemire Jr., pitching coach for the Mariners, and his thoughts on Taiwan Walker coming into today's game. You've seen him do that in high leverage situations where he's able to turn the dial up, and I think it's important that he understands that he needs to do that from pitch one, uh, you know, for, for however long he's in there. So it, it's, you know, everybody does it a little different, and he's asked me those questions, I, th I think, internally. You know, if, if you prepare yourself, and everybody does it different, uh, in between your starts, and that you build that, that little bit of anger and that, that little bit of anxiety and unknown going into the game, uh, it starts in the bullpen, you know, and it, it, and it you, you, I saw him yesterday, and we had some conversations. I said, you got a little edge to you, and he goes, yeah. He goes, I need that, so he understands that. It, it started yesterday for him. And, uh, you know, everybody does it different, and it's, it's always a, it's a dicey question. You know, there's, there's guys that get between that line that, uh, you know, the juices get flowing, so to speak, and, and that animal comes out in them, and that, that's what I'm wanting to see from Taiwan. Well, he didn't hold on Mookie Betts. Betts got a super jump. Ionetta threw him out first time. Mookie Betts has been caught stealing. This season, he's now 11 for 12. Got a great jump. Yep. Chris Iannetta, quick feet behind home play, was able to get rid of it. Look at the throw right on the money as Marte puts the tag on him. Boston Red Sox stealing percentage as a team this year at 88%. And as Dave mentioned, he had stolen 11 in a row before getting caught right there by Iannetta. And it's good to see 95 miles an hour here in the first inning from Taiwan Walker. Absolutely. Don't. <laughs> talking to Bell and Scott Service. Don't work your way in there. Come out firing. Seeger in the backhand. Nice one hop. Deho Lee. Good stretch. Good dig. Two outs. Take a look at the work by Kyle Seeger. The ball was hit firm down the line. Kyle able to reach a backhand. A quick turn and an accurate throw. Nice stretch by Dejo Lee at first base. We were talking about Dejo Lee before the game. Good athlete, flat out. I mean, you, you look at the body type and you're thinking, hey, he's just going to be a mash. He can play. I was talking to Jerry DePoto before the game today on the radio side of things, and it's one of the things that he was talking about with this club. He wants to see them play better defense as they start to move into the break go into the second half and so the defense helping Taiwan out here in the first inning with Ionetta throwing out bets and then that fine play by Kyle Seeger at third. Here's the American League's leading hitter Xander Bogarts at 352 nine homers 46 runs batted in homered yesterday two for four. Now Adrian Sampson making his major league debut yesterday and I've seen the replay of the home run that hit. That fastball was well in off the plate and running towards his hands. It's one thing to get the barrel to it. It's another thing to keep it fair, give you an idea how good a swing he has. 
pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Taiwan did not get the call. Uh, what a swing he put on it to keep it fair and hit it out of the ballpark. Tip of the cap to Mr. Sampson. Major League debut, four and two thirds, eight hits, four runs all earned, walk two strikeouts. Clean first three innings. Check down, Trip Gibson did not go. Three and one. Three and one pitch. You get no bargain here. David Ortiz second in hitting in the American League. Boston icon. 342 batting average. 59 runs batted in second to Encarnacion, who has just been on fire. I mean, that, man, that last eight, ten days has been incredible. You got a lot to deal with here. Ortiz, number one in slugging, number one in home batting average, and on and on it goes. He's been that good. 18 home runs, and he does have a home run in this series. Hit a home run out to center field. It was a blast. 521, tied 19th with Frank Thomas, Willie McCovey, and Ted Williams. All time. And retired numbers, and number nine. Ted Williams. One of the great players in the history of this franchise. We'll run this down for you a little bit later. Here's a 1 0 pitch throw of the first. With Taiwan getting the start today, he now has had a start against every team in the American League. This was the last one for him, the Red Sox. So he hasn't faced Ortiz in this lineup. Back. Taiwan looking for his first win against the American League East. He's 0 4 with 4 7 3 and 9 previous starts. Good place to start here. Red Sox will be in Seattle September 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is a big attraction. You may want to jump on those seats ASAP. Big swing and a miss. 1 and 2. See on our EQC tracer a couple of high fastballs. Top of the strike zone at 93 miles an hour. That's a big boy challenge here. Taiwan's got the goods. Poppy can still swing it. Having a ridiculously good year. Taiwan the young pop. Runner goes. Pitch swung on and hit foul. Bogarts was on the move. He's only been caught stealing twice. Those folks from the U.S. Navy still working on getting the name of the ship, but they went out, took a, a group picture in front of the Green Monster about an hour and a half ago. Runner goes again in the dirt. Ionetta's throw just a little bit late. That's a heck of a throw considering it was in the dirt. He still came out firing. It looked as if he stumbled a little bit. Yeah. Always more difficult to make a throw when the ball is down out of the strike zone. Chris getting yesterday off. Maybe his legs feel a little bit better because he looks quick behind the plate. They're waiting to see if Scott wants to take a look at it. and He doesn't. He was safe. Pressing matter, trying to retire Ortiz here. The 2 2 pitch coming. Runner breaks for third, pitch swung on and fouled back. Well, take a look at Bogarts at second base, takes off right away. Two balls, two strikes to David Ortiz. We're in the first inning. Cano in short right field. Can almost shake hands with Goody out there. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Red Sox. No runs. A hit. No errors. And a man left to the second inning we go here at Fenway.
Seattle Mariners baseball here in Root Sports being brought to you by your local Ford stores. By the Emerald Queen Casino, welcoming country's own Josh Turner, August 19th. Tickets at emeraldqueen.com. And by Safeco Insurance, find a local agent at safeco.com. 80 degree temperatures here in Boston, Mass. Inning number two coming up, Mariners and the Red Sox. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers. And these little squirts here, take it in the ball game with dads and uncles and happy Father's Day to everybody. Dejo lead, he'll lead it off against David Price. Price, a five-time All-Star. Career record of 111 and 60. Throwing a lot of strikes, 13 pitches, 12 strikes. Premier lefties, Dejo Lee, his first look at him. In the first inning, Price's fastball was at 93 miles an hour. We saw him use his cutter and change up to the right-handers. Cano, the only lefty, and he saw the one breaking ball. They hold among the rookie leaders in the American League. Second in slugging, tied for second in homers. Fourth in average, fourth in on-base percentage. And doing all of that, just 118 at-bats. One and two. Target inside, and he goes that way. Base hit. Day Holy Lee gets the Mariners off to a good start here in the second inning. We check out the greater coverage of baseball brought to you by T-Mobile. And ball's in play here, Mike. Yeah, against the shift, you can see what Kyle and David Ortiz have done this year without the shift. Kyle a little bit better. Ortiz hasn't picked up a hit, but that's only happened four times this year. Two strike hitting by Day Holy brings up Kyle Seeger. Oh. The third baseman, two for 14 with a home run against David Price. And May home plate umpire in his third year in the major leagues. Scott service or somebody was on it. Seager for four in yesterday's game with a strikeout. David Price, in Nashville, Tennessee, a proud alum of Vanderbilt University. They've been pouring out a lot of good players. And Sonny Gray, the two that come to mind immediately. Bradley Jr. shading towards right center field. Playing in the pull on the infield. Not quite a shift, but playing in the pull. It up. Chris Young calls everybody up this play. One away, one on. We'll take another look at David Price this year. His fastball to the average at 224, slugging 456. Had some issues with the fastball. Talked about him giving up some home runs. His changeup has been a very good pitch for him this year, hitting just 238, slugging just 297, and the curveball. Low batting average at 200, slugging right at 400. Price 2012 Cy Young Award winner in the American League. 20 and 5 that year with the Rays. He's got Chris Ionetta back in his home area, Providence, Rhode Island kid. Ionetta on a road trip, 5 for 15 over his last 14 games. 347, two homers at eight runs batted in. Look at him. He has really made the jump from a year ago. He's had some success against Price. 333 batting average with the home run. Spoke to Scott Service about Chris yesterday. He said that 
as far as catching goes. I think, I think the number he said was about 110 games, and he's ahead of that pace. And so look for Clevenger probably to catch a little bit more in the second half of the season. He said it's hard, though, because of the numbers you just yep. read off, Dave. He's been swinging the bat so well, and he does such a good job behind the plate. It's tough to get him out of the lineup. Right. But they don't want to wear him down either. Jerry DePoto told me today that now when the temperatures start to rise, it's going to be time to give him a little bit of a break. And Clevenger did well yesterday, one for yeah. four. Steve's had some good moments here in limited action. He's hitting Clevenger hitting 230 with a homer, seven runs batted in, 61 at bats. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's a tough job, especially when Chris is catching the majority of the games and he doesn't see a lot of live pitching. Count to two and two. Price last year with Detroit, 9 and 4, 2 5 3 ERA in 21 games, then traded over to uh, Toronto, 9 and 1, a 2 3 0 ERA in 11. One thing he's trying to change in his ledger, 2 and 7, a 5 1 2 in postseason play. Shaw, Ryan, and over to Hanley Ramirez, they go around the horn, and the Mariners are done in the second inning. When we come back, Ramirez, Bradley, and Young, five, six, and seven in the order for the Red Sox. Absolutely, Brad. Thank you so much, and happy Father's Day to everybody. Anley Ramirez leads off, followed by Jackie Bradley Jr. and Chris Young. Ramirez, a couple of hits yesterday, two runs scored, two for four. Taiwan Walker thus far in this ball game, first inning, a walk and a strikeout. Taiwan's first game against the Boston Red Sox. Taiwan very aggressive with his fastball in the first inning. Topped out at 95 miles an hour. Gave up just the one hit. Bouncing ball to Seeger. Nice room service hop. That'll work. One out here in the second. Two Father's Days. Better than one, so join us next Sunday.
EQC Second Chance Father's Day. First 10,000 dads are going to take home barbecue tongs. They'll also take in a great interleague matchup. Mariners will be playing the St. Louis Cardinals. Tickets at Mariners.com. The Cardinals starting today, second place behind the Cubs. The Cardinals 11 and a half games behind the Cubs. First pitch strike to Jackie Bradley Jr. The Cubs are 26 games over 500. We were talking about the Rangers and how hot they've been. They're 19 games mm -hmm. over 500. Bradley with a home run yesterday, hit it over the monster out towards left center field. That was his 12th home run on the year. One request I would have for all you dads out there carrying young Sparkies. Don't try to make a catch on a foul ball. Get out of the way. There was some play in Philly two nights ago. Guy was way out in the outfield. He's sitting there and he's got the kid just like that gentleman did. Foul ball came to him. He went, bang, caught it with this. Oh, yeah, I saw that <laughs> one. That? Yeah, it was he's, a nice catch. He said he's left-handed, so it was his catch hand, so it worked <laughs> out well for him. That's a heck of an explanation. You want to be taken back to mama. I saw one, I think it was yesterday, also in Philadelphia, where the Little League team was there and there was a ball, a screamer, and the coach ended up catching it. Did he and really? The, and the kids went crazy. I love it. They thought it was the greatest <laughs> thing. Popped it up. And that is a big time pop up. Seeger coming in to bail out. Oh, they looked they at each other. Ball. Oh, man. Oh, that's a tough break. It was so high, and I thought Seeger had a better angle on it. And Ionetta must have been thinking the same thing. Well, Kyle, Kyle, they had the shift on, so Kyle was running all the way in. It looked right there that Ionetta was underneath it. Fortunately, because of the spin of the ball, it ends up going foul, so it's a strike, but. Wow. But Kyle was deep, and he just wasn't going to be able to get there. May as well throw some sunshine in the mix, too. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow. And then he gets a hit. Of course he does. A dunk shot. Jackie Bradley's aboard. CenturyLink, what's next? Our next stop, final leg of this road trip. Beat in Detroit, Nathan Carnes in two games is 1-0 against the Tigers. He's got Mike Pelfrey, Paxson against Verlander. That should be interesting. Iwakuma on a great roll, takes on Michael Fulmer, who's put up tremendous numbers. And then Adrian Sampson gets another start, and that'll be a TBA from the Detroit side of things. The Tigers start today three and a half back of first place Cleveland, third place in the Central. Mentioned Iwakuma, Scott Service yesterday. What's going on about him? And you mentioned how well he's been pitching as of late. And he's just talking about. He goes, he's a rare guy in the game today when we're always talking about velocity. And Iwakuma's fastball is about 87 miles an hour. And he said, hey, he just knows how to pitch. Location, location, yeah. location. The pitchers better be ready. Detroit third in average, fifth in runs. Third in hits, second in total bases, and fifth in homers. Just about everybody but Justin Upton's hot over there. Yeah, if they're going to catch any bit of a break, it's J.D. Martinez on the disabled list. So they won't have to deal with him. He's hurt the Mariners in the past. Taiwan 1 0 here to Chris Young, a left fielder for Boston. Chris won for four yesterday. Let's see if Taiwan does a better job holding. Run, run. Bradley's not been caught. He's five for five. That's a rocket shot. Left field. All kinds of trouble. And it goes foul. They catch a break. Bradley was flying. Take a closer look at Taiwan Walker and batting average velocities. And you can see his fastball at 94 miles an hour. On average, at times this year, we've seen him at 97. Opponents hitting 250 against his fastball. His changeup has been a very good pitch for him. 88 miles an hour 
Opponents hitting just 209. See much of his curveball and still working on that slider. Opponents hitting 269 on the slider, right at about 88 miles an hour. One to one here to Chris Young. Shift on for Chris. Three defenders on the left side of the infield. Mentioned Taiwan paying attention to the base runner at Bradley Jr. In the first inning, he seemed that he was just locked in. He was going to go right at the hitters and wasn't too worried about the base runners. Fortunately, Ionetta made a nice throw to get bets. Hogarth eventually uh, stole a base and was in scoring position. Another shot. This is way fair. Hop O'Malley will get the play. A hold Bradley at third. A double for Chris Young. His 12th of the season. One out, two on. That's on his slider. 88 miles an hour. Didn't have a lot of bite to it. It looks more like a cutter today. We saw that pitch in the first inning. He was able to get a strikeout with it. Need a strikeout. Pretty good chance you're going to see his fastball at 70%. Yeah, I was remarking about him holding guys on when he came to stretch it was the same pace it would be hold count go and right. they caught that and they, that's why they were getting the great jumps good play by O'Malley in left field to get the ball in quickly Travis Shaw the third baseman swinging a miss by Travis Shaw one for four in yesterday's game for the series. And the Mariners have the shift on with Shaw hitting. Kyle Seeger playing in at third. One, one. And second and third, one out. And the Red Sox, have, as a team, have been very good runners in scoring position this year. Start of the game today, hitting 291. Big numbers. Big numbers. Field straight away. Catch from Taiwan. 2 2. Davis, hitting coach, speaks very highly of this youngster's swing. So I saw one one series last year. He did well against the Mariners. Big 2-2 pitch here. Ooh. Wow. My goodness. Full count. After pitching him away, he had him set up for the good fastball inside, and he was able to hit the corner but didn't get the call. There's Jim Vasquez, number nine hitter, waiting on deck. Big pitch, 3-2. Strike three, called, got him. Two outs. Taiwan went right back in there again. Good fastball. This one a little bit lower, but right on the corner. Yeah, great pitch. Two out, two on. Vasquez. Two for three yesterday. RBI double in the sixth. And a hit and run single in the fifth yesterday. Yeah. Going back to what Mel was talking about, that mindset. He's got it today. There's no question. Yeah. Well, 95 miles an hour right on the corner. Two. Showed the video at the start of the game against the Rays, and that's exactly where he was at. At four strikeouts right out of the gate. 80% of his pitches were the fastball, and fortunately, again, he had the Achilles problem, had to come out of the game after three and a third. There's Tim Bogart in the foreground, and Mel Stoudemire Jr. in the background talking to an interpreter. 
Anthony Suzuki. Taiwan ahead here, 0 and 2. Ball one. Mariners trying to quell this threat by the Red Sox. Two out, runners in second and third. Defending against Vasquez. You can see Martin in center field, shading towards right center. Here comes the 1 2 pitch. Foul back. 96 on that last fastball. 45 pitches for Taiwan, 26 strikes. A blow here. Samson went four and two thirds yesterday. He would come outstanding on Friday night. Seven innings, saved that bullpen. He's got service in full bullpen today. I feel about, I feel real good about it. Jonathan Arrow might even get a shot if necessary. He's called up. Ramirez started the inning grounding out the third base hit the center by Bradley Jr. Chris Young doubled to left. Shaw took a cold third strike and now he's trying to put away Christian Vasquez. Here's a one two from Taiwan. Line drive, right field, tracked down by Goody. That'll do it for the Red Sox in the second. Taiwan pitches out of trouble. When we get back, Martin, O'Malley, and Marte. Seattle Mariners baseball on Route Sports being brought to you by BNSF Railway, sponsor the BNSF Blast. By Safeco Insurance, find a local agent at Safeco.com. By the new face of Strong, the 2016 Chevy Silverado. And by Steel, to find your local steel dealer, visit steeldealer.com. Glorious day here in Boston. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Always a baseball festival here at Fenway Park. Right now, the Mariners. Locked up in a scoreless duel with the Red Sox. Here's Martin to lead it off against David Price. Martin, a career 0 for 5 against David. Here are his numbers. Good to have him back off the disabled list. Five hits on a road trip, 5 for 16. And straight up infield and outfield. High fly ball, battling the sun, Mookie Betts, going a little sideways there, hanging with it. Wow, man. Nice job by Betts, sunglasses do help.
Fighting the sun, trying to get an angle on it. That's the reason why he's turned sideways. Finally picks it up and able to make the catch. See him shake his head. Wow, that was a battle. One out. Sean O'Malley getting his start. Played here under 19s. His first big league game here. 22nd game for Sean. May test Travis Shaw at some point, the third baseman for the Red Sox. Dropping down a bunt. Valley's second start in left field today. Casey Candell hit some balls off the Green Monster today and yesterday to get him ready. 1 1. A changeup right off the end of the bat. Bradley Jr. shading towards right center field, straight up on the infield. Great to see all the dads and sons out here. Hey, Pop, make that plastic work. Make it work, coach. Bring your boys to the ballpark. Your, your plastic is saying ouch every other inning. They're hungry. <laughs> Always. <laughs> One or two strikes here to O'Malley. One out, nobody on. Pitch right there, two and two. David going full blue, full Father's Day with the blue shoes and everything. Popped it up, taking a look. He's Vasquez got plenty of room. Nice job. Pop ups. Not easy today. He's got his sunglasses on. Our Delta Airlines keep climbing standings. As we mentioned, Texas has just been ridiculously hot. 13 and 4 in a month. Mariners have fallen back to 7 and a half. Still think back to that fielder home run. Could have been two games back. Uh. Can't do anything about it now. <laughs> Astros, Angels, Athletics. Bottom two teams, double figures in arrears. Quick two outs, top of the order, Marte. Not go. He got help that time. Let's see. Umpires even going full Dusty Baker with the wristbands. Father's Day. Get fouled. Dusty wears long since retired and wears a Wears the wristbands anyway. Very cool. You see the Nationals next year. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. We go there. I think they come to us. We go to Philly and Atlanta next year. I knew that. The Mets come to us. Home and home with Philly, as a matter of fact. 1 1 to Marte. Thought it was funny. Manny acted the third base coach. Marte had hit the ball, hit it hard. And it went right by him. He did not flinch. Didn't move at all. Man, man he's good at baseball, man. Yes, he is. 2 1. Back up this way. I think years ago, the TV booth was mid level, sort of like uh, Detroit. I remember doing some games in Detroit early 90s. At mezzanine level, those balls are when they come back there. We're high up here at Fenway Park, not as high as we'll be when we go to Pittsburgh or they have in Washington. 
Strike three call. Marte gone. David Price brings up his third strikeout of the afternoon. Good game here in Boston. Third inning time now for a Geico this date in MLB history. Take you back to 1938. The great Johnny Vandermeer of the Cincinnati Reds gives up a fourth inning single to Debs Garms. The first hit he's allowed in three consecutive games. As you know, Johnny Vandermeer has a baseball record that it's not going to get broken. You got to throw three no hitters to break his record of back to back no no's. Good luck on that. And as we came out of break, you heard a loud ovation. Freddie Lynn, the Red Sox hero of the past, featured up on the board. He's in town for the entire weekend. Mookie Betts, the hitter in Taiwan, jumps out in front 0 2. Mookie with a base hit center field, open up the Red Sox portion of the ball game that was caught stealing. I always like to talk about the characteristics of ballparks as we go around. We always talk about Oakland and all the space, the foul space they have there here. Austin. The dugouts are really far removed from home plate. There's the 2 outside. And Mike, that's not a lot of laughs if you can, and you got to go back to the it's dugout. A, it is a long walk. There you take a look at it where the dugout is compared to home plate. You strike out, you're going to hear about it. Back up the middle, can okay and get to a base hit. Two for two day for Mookie Betts. Take another look at Taiwan Walker. Averages against his pitches and the slugging. And you can see his curveball average terrific at 150, but slugging 600 against it. So far, I think we've seen just the one curveball, and that was to bats. His fastball, 250, slugging 427. His changeup, really good pitch for Taiwan. You can see his slider also not slugging much against the slider at 385. I got one for you. Sure. The splits, the right handers hit 301 against him, lefties 170. I think I think for the left handers it's because of how good his changeup is and that's the pitch that he will use to the lefties and that's the reason why Mel Stottlemyre and continues to work with him on developing the slider for the right handed hitters and today we've seen him throw his slider it looks a little bit more like a cutter today right around 89 90 miles an hour when he has it in that 87 mile an hour range is usually when he has a little better break to it and it's, but he, it's going to take him a little bit of Time. I, I know in the bullpen he throws a good slider, but in the game it's kind of hit or miss for him, and I'm not sure that he totally trusts that pitch yet. Yeah, I hear you. He's paying a little more attention to Mookie Betts this time. Mookie had two good jumps. Troy jumping out of his shoes, one on one. 94 mile an hour fastball, top of the strike zone. 
probably in off the plate. Taiwan so far this afternoon has topped out at 96 miles an hour. That's inching out. Shading close to the bag, they give him a lot of the right side of the infield to drive. There you go. Andrew Bogart's on deck. Two balls, one strike. Didn't get that off speech, off speed pitch on. Through the first two innings, Taiwan was throwing a lot of fastballs, and now he's starting to see his curveball a little bit more. Two one. Enjoying well, not trying to go small, that's for sure. or Ramirez, they loom here later on, and possibly in this inning. 2 2 pitch. He missed it in the first inning. Betts has 11 stolen bases on the year and had not been caught. Had a pretty good jump off of Taiwan Walker, but a perfect throw by Ionetta was able to get him. That was the first time he's been caught stealing this year. Ooh. <laughs> it made him stop for a second. Looked like he was leaning and able to get back. Trying to get Pedroia, rookie of the year in 07, MVP in 08. He is just staying inside with him. That last pitch maybe is changeup. All the rest of them fastballs in. You're talking about Pedroia swinging hard. He's been doing that from the time he's shown up at the big league level. Honest to goodness, nine years in the bigs. Heck of a career, and he listed at 5'9, a buck 75. Good player. Gamer, too. 2-2. Two -two. big he's been for this Red Sox franchise. He's got 11 pages in the media guide. He's tapped out in his home run production back in 2011. He had 21, drove in 90. The point out here. 2 2 from Taiwan. High full count. Bogart's leading hitter in the American League is on deck. And this will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Taiwan now at 58 pitches. 35 strikes. Taiwan three and two here to Pedroia. Runner goes, pitch, line drive, right center field. Bets on his horse. He's going to get the third. Martin gets it back in, and here come the Red Sox. First two men of reach. Runners at the corners. Fastball. This one is down. So Pedroia able to get to it and out over the plate. We were talking about how he was pitching him inside, missed his spot there, and it cost him. The Red Sox have had a runner in scoring position in all three innings against Taiwan. Five hits banged out already by Boston. Xander Bogart. Martin charging short center field. Great throwing arm. Let's see. They know better. Look at that arm. Whew. Look 
guys you know you about. You can see the smile on his face. <laughs> he was trying to bait him into running. Here's Big Papi. Ortiz struck out on a 2 2 pitch. Steps now and moves in on the dirt on the right side, plugging up the hole against Ortiz. Ortiz shading the bag. Pitch inside. Taiwan was able to get ahead of him with the fastball, missed with that fastball in off the plate, eventually put him away with the slider. Ball day he'll lead. Marte, 3 6 3 double play. You talk about being on time. Threat dies there in the third, no score in Boston. And Dejo Lee, we were lauding his defense, our Big Fish Casino Big Catch, and Mike, we talked about him, and, and here he comes through with a nice double play. Yeah, we were talking about it before the game. For a big man, a good athlete, he's done well defensively at first base. An accurate throw for Marte. Ortiz It's not run well, so Marte doing the right thing, taking his time, an accurate throw, but for Taiwan, able to get the double play and get out of that inning. Very impressive. Happy Father's Day to all the guys out there. Just had a chance to say hello to Fred Lynn and stopped by the booth to say hello to great Red Sox center fielder. Swing and a miss by Goody. That man can slice some center field, huh? Without question, he could hit too. <laughs> yeah. That whenever we're here on the weekend, they have somebody from the past that is here in the ballpark. Fred's been here all weekend. Yeah, he said it about three times a year he comes in from San Diego. He looks great. He does. I said, I said, you're still living in SoCal, aren't you? He said, I'm not leaving San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Tan gave him away. Yeah. Goody Cano and Cruz here in the fourth. Looking for his first career hit against David Price. Strikeout swinging in the first at bat, back in the first inning. What a night he had Friday night. A oh. couple of home runs, drove in six runs. Probably about a foot away from hitting his third home run, which would have been a grand slam. All three of those balls were really hit. 
front there. Got a good change up. And he hit him to all fields. First home run was the center, then he went over left yeah. and just missed the grand slam off the top of the fence in right field. Mr. Martinez had to have been thrilled. Right? Oh, yeah. Pull the pole, baby. Yeah, that's what he likes. He used the whole field. Full count. He was able to get away with when they're at change up right at the bottom of the strike zone in the middle of the plate. Make and him I, pay for it. That's why I sort of like, whoa, hold my <laughs> breath. <laughs> Got away with one. Went straight up in the infield. And in the outfield pitch. Deep to right. Get up. God, Goody does it again. Franklin Gutierrez, how about this guy? His last 12 games now, he's got six home runs in this ballpark, and the Mariners have a 1-0 lead. Gets it inside the pesky pole down there in right field, 1-0 Seattle. Home run number eight, RBI number 22 for Franklin. And we'll take a look at it. Fastball in the outside corner goes the other way. Franklin Gutierrez, his eighth home run of the year. We saw a lot of this last year, tremendous power hitting the ball the other way. So takes advantage of that changeup that wasn't called to strike. Gets a break, takes advantage of it. I thought it might have some slice on it, but he was able to keep it fair. You know, base hit to right his first time. Eight home runs for Franklin Gutierrez. Hit 15 last year. Just under 180 at bats, but you can take another look. Yeah, he was unsure too. Take the old cruise around the bags there. Franklin Gutierrez. On this road trip, he's now six for 17, three homers and seven runs batted in. You know, in attack mode in this at bat. Matter of fact, in both at bats. Yes. A lot of times we'll see him. He made a great point. I was saying this on radio last week. He sort of like baits a guy sometimes. You can see him up there. He's just like, uh, you're going to have to throw me a strike. You're going to have to throw me another one. I'm going to get a, a hit on two strikes this time. Let's go. He will definitely pick his spots. And at times, as you mentioned, he'll, he will also be very aggressive at times. And he's hitting right around 500 on the first pitch this year when he puts it in play. There you go. Nelson Cruz on deck. I'm sure over the years familiarity breeds contempt as Cano and Price have faced off many a time as that's what Goody did. 71 at bats against Price. One two pitch. Oh yeah, that's some smart hitting. Off the sidewall. Is he going to go for two? No, he'll hold with a single. Two for two day for Robinson Cano. Take a look at it. pretty good pitch down off the plate away. He was just trying to spoil it, maybe foul it off, but it ended up going right inside the bag. It had so much slice to it, hits that short wall, didn't work its way down into the corner. You see some controlled anger in these swings from Mr. Cruz, who's over his last 12, but he does have two career home runs against David Price. I would be shocked if. In a three game series, he left this place without hitting a home run. Huh? I'm totally with you. Yeah, tried to hit one right there. Cutter down and in. Take a look at some shifts for the Red Sox. Balls in play. Boston 301, Major League average at 49. So they don't shift a lot, hardly at all. That at balls in play, 266 compared to 293. Back ground ball to Shaw. They get one. 
And they get two. Second double play turn here by the Red Sox this afternoon. The Cardinals are coming. The Cardinals are coming. Greet them loudly. Mariners return home Friday, June 24th to meet the St. Louis Cardinals. Three game interleague set at Safe Go Field. Make sure you're there for the entire weekend series. Pick up those tickets. Go get them. Mariners.com, the place. Day Holy stepping in. He had a base hit his first time up. He did it on a 1 2 pitch. Base hit to left. Just started a 3-6-3 double play to help Taiwan Walker out. A lot of fun the first couple of days here to watch him and Nelson Cruz take batting practice. See him get out of here maybe with a tater too. Why not? First time at Fenway Park. Franklin Gutierrez says the Mariners ahead 1 0. Steve Homo, 22nd RBI. in this series. Two outs nobody on one two to Dale. Let's nice hop for Shaw. Throws out Day Holy. Goody got one highlights the fourth. Mariners lead at one nothing. Get out of Boston after this game and head to Detroit. We take a look at the Mariners calendar brought to you by Sleep Train. And there you have it, four games against the big, bad Motor City Kitties. Boys are swinging a bat. And then we get the Cardinals and Pirates in their league action and the Orioles, number one in home runs. Toronto second, Mariners third. Mariners took two out of three. And then taking us into July already. Man, it got here fast, didn't it? Houston and Kansas City. That's what it's looking like the next three weeks. Breaking ball to Hanley Ramirez. Strike one, Ramirez, Bradley, and Young. Red Sox had runners at the corners. Third in. Hogarth's fly to center, and then a 3-6-3 double play to end the threat.
the middle against Ramirez. Hanley grounded out Seeger's first time. Taiwan so far, two strikeouts, one walk. And the walk has not hurt him. That was in the first inning of Bogarts with two outs. Walked and stole second, but he got Ortiz to strike out in the inning. That's the other thing we've seen a lot lately with those skids, when the Mariners do have the skids of walks piled up and have scored too many times. Yeah, they haven't been able to get away with it. One two pitch. The middle base hit. Good pitch is pitch and handling. Will be Taiwan there. It's going to be a fastball in the outside corner. It is up a little bit, probably mid thigh. You see the defensive alignment, but he finds a hole through the left side of the infield. Taiwan's had a base runner in every inning so far, all four innings. Jackie Bradley Jr. base hit the center, one out in the second. Fighting the sun, can't find it. Marte hangs with it. Boy, Cano had it, and it said, "Help me!" And luckily, Marte was there. Yeah, oh, he, he definitely had lost it. Cano thought it was going to be towards the grass. You can see him running in, trying to find it. Can't see it. So Marte picks him up, realizes that he's not going to be close to it, and able to make the adjustment. Good teamwork there. Bro. Man, that was a good job by Marte to pay yeah. attention. Yes, indeed. Yeah, because a lot of times you give up. Oh, he's got it. Exactly, and then by then it's too late. And then nice job staying with the play. Brings up Chris Young, one out, one on. Doubled down the left field line his first time up. Step and a half off the bag. No attempts this year. No runs, six hits. Taiwan struck out two, walked one. Good fastball on the inside corner. You mentioned a double for Young down in the left field corner. It was on a slider that was in the middle of the plate. So Taiwan starting him off with a good fastball in. Four. It's a strike. Saw that last inning trying to mix in his curveball to go along with his fastball. And two. He can hit that pitch, can he? To his left. At second base. Taiwan checking the runner. The two pitch. Cano's got this one. Falls off Day Holy. Two outs. This Father's Day, join the Mariners, Major League Baseball, and the Prostate Cancer Foundation in the fight against prostate cancer by supporting the Home Run Challenge. Log on MLBcommunity.org to learn more. We had the chairman, Michael Milken, on with us on radio and TV. Last homestand. Commemorating Father's Day here at Fenway Park. I'm sure they will auction off these bags here. Travis Shaw 
Took a called third strike on a 3 2 pitch in the second inning. Taiwan went right at him with the fastball. You're talking about the call third strike. The fastball right on the inside corner, which he had to repeat because it was the same pitch, the pitch <laughs> before, but it wasn't called. <laughs> right. to give you an idea of the type of command that Taiwan has. I'd like to show you that one again. You erred the first time. <laughs> Two and one. Pitch will be 75 for Taiwan, so working here in the fourth pitch count, a little bit high for him. Good to see him health battle. I asked Jerry DePoto today about Nathan Carnes mm -hmm. and Taiwan Walker and getting deeper into games, and is there anything they can do about it? He said, well, they, they get a tremendous amount of foul balls when they're pitching, and he said it's because they're both power pitchers and they both use the curveball. So I think that's another reason why Mel Stottlemyre wants him to use the slider. Somewhere somebody's keeping a tally of foul balls, and I don't have much in my pocket, but I'm putting it on Carnes and Walker being a top three. Yeah, it's when you pitch up in the zone, they're fly ball pitchers, so you pitch up in the zone. Mm -hmm. A lot of hitters can't quite get to that pitch, so you'll see what you just saw. Fastball up in the zone. Yep. Foul it back. Two out to man on 3 2 pitch here to Shaw. Popped it up. Seeger battling the sun. Coming in on Malley to help him. Seeger stays with it, makes the play. Taiwan gives up a base hit. Proves to be harmless. We played four. Mariners 1 0. Seattle Mariners baseball on Root Sports being brought to you by CHI Franciscan Health, the Mariners' official partners in health. Learn to stay Northwest healthy at nwhealthy.org. By the new face of Strong, the 2016 Chevy Silverado. By Snoqualmie Casino, Seattle's closest Snoqualmie Casino. And by Frontier Communications, providers of next generation Fios TV and Internet. Father's Day to all Mariners lead 1-0 on a Franklin Gutierrez leadoff homer in the fourth. And they turn to the fifth inning. Kyle Seeger leads off, followed by Chris Ionetta and Leonis Martin. Kyle with a fly out to left field his first time. David Price on the mound for the Red Sox.
going over towards the line is Young. He's got room. He makes the play in their territory. One out. Next stop, Detroit. CenturyLink brings you what's next. Nathan Carnes, two starts career against Detroit. 1-0 with a 2.00 ERA. He's got Mike Pelfrey, James Faxon, and Berlander. Sashi Wakuma and Michael Fulmer. And then a TBA against Adrian Sampson will get his second start. Fulmer has really pitched well for the Tigers. Won seven games. Curious to see Paxton again. It's been fun watching him since being a ball at fastball right around 98 miles an hour. Great weapon. Use it. And that bounced into a double play to end the second inning. Providence Rhode Island native. Shoot right down I-95. He's seven for 22, the home run against David Price. Price in his 15th start. He's got something we don't see often, uh, Mike. He's got one complete game. Their knuckleballer, Stephen Wright, has three complete games. Those are few and far between. Yeah. Last two outings, he's gone eight innings. I think the one thing that we're seeing today with Price is velocity. That's one of the better fastballs he's thrown at 94, but we've seen a lot of 92s from him. Had a really good changeup, mixing in his cutter. Red Sox start today, a game behind Baltimore in the East. Strike three, ball. That's four strikeouts. For David Price, three, looking. Quick two outs here in the fifth inning. Don't forget to stick around after the game for Mariners post game. It's presented by Delta Airlines. Brad and Bill and Jen Mueller will have post game reaction commentary on this contest as Mariners get ready to head to Detroit. Franklin Gutierrez has the Mariners in front. One nothing. Got to take this series from the Boston Red Sox. Here's Martin. Fly out to right. Mookie Betts had to battle his son. That will get down. Base hit for Martin. His sixth hit on the road trip. This pitch is away from him. I think he might even break his bat right off the end of the bat. Soft line drive into right. You can see him when he's running, still protecting that hamstring. Yeah. Another action in the American League West. Bottom three, Texas and St. Louis, 1-1. In St. Louis, Houston at home leads Cincinnati 2 0, bottom three. Angels and Oakland start in about an hour. Sean O'Malley popped out to the catcher his first time up. American League East, Toronto and Baltimore. Spent a lot of time just bashing each other. 4 4 game, top of the fourth. Yes. <laughs> a couple of really good offenses. Oh, my goodness. Toronto without Batista for a while. Yep. <laughs> Those two teams, Boston, you better have hard hats on and maybe some body armor to wait them boys to swing. Jeez. Baltimore, too. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Baltimore, Toronto, and Boston. I mean, it's crazy. Yankees 1 0 at Minnesota, bottom three. 0-1 here to O'Malley. Ground ball, Shaw plays the hop very nicely. Throws him out. That'll do it. Mariners get a hit. Here's a runner stranded. Home fifth coming up here in Boston. Vasquez, Betts, and Pedroia, 9-1 and 2. Coming up against Taiwan Walker.
Mariners on top, bottom five here in Boston. And Friday is Felix Hernandez bobblehead night. It's presented by Ruth Sports. Get there early. Be one of the first 20,000 fans to pick up the king of collectibles. And then afterwards, watch a big interleague matchup. The St. Louis Cardinals will be in town. 7:10 start time. Get your tickets at Mariners.com. Up by the red seat out in right field. Ted Williams hit a ball many moons ago. Remember three years ago I went out there. That is a serious poke. And Fred Hutchins, Seattle's own, was the pitcher. I went out there. You can't even imagine it, can you? No, I've you been can't. out there too. Ah, I mean, uh, maybe a nine iron, but I mean. <laughs> Right under the Ford sign, about eh, about a quarter, almost halfway up. I think it would have to be a pretty good nine iron too, Dad. Firm. <laughs> Commit to it. <laughs> the caddy say, "Hey, go put a good swing on. You got this. Here we go." <laughs> Popped it up. It's playable. A battle of the sun. Marte. Stays with it. Good two hand catch. One away here in the fifth. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Goody, the man today so far, fourth inning home run, 1 0 Mariners. His third home run of the series. His sixth home run in his last 12 games here at Fenway Park. Rookie Betts has been a pain today. Two hits to center field. And with a one to nothing lead, he'd certainly like to keep his speed off the bases. It's premium speed. And that threw him out the first time he's been caught stealing this season. In the first inning after the leadoff single. Two and one. Boston in its last eight games here at home, three and five, and for the month of June, they're six and nine. Get foul. Tried, and tried to throw a curveball and just spiked it. Taiwan is now at 86 pitches, 53 strikes for him. Three, two. Down low, did he go? He did. Trip Gibson brings him up. Strikeout number three for Taiwan Walker. Two outs here in the fifth. Pitched down in the zone, tried to check his swing. He didn't think he went. He's taking the guard off to go to first base. He can't believe it. A strikeout for Taiwan Walker. It's important to get, keep him off the base pass. Three Ks and one walk for Taiwan. There's Pedroia. Team play. Marte's got it. Clean inning for Taiwan Walker. His first today. One, two, three. Go the Red Sox. Mariners lead it. One nothing.
Jimmy John's delivery of the game. We salute number 21, Franklin Gutierrez. What a series, Mike. Dead center field on Friday night. A two-run home run for Franklin Gutierrez. How about a solo home run over the monster and left? Hit it out onto the street. And then he's the difference in this game today with the home run to right. Eight home runs on the year for Franklin Gutierrez. Important time duty. So impressive. We're going to see him right after Marte leads off. Top of the order, Marte, Goody, and Cano. Pedroia for out number one. Tell 0 for 3 today. Gutierrez one for two, struck out his first time. Cano after him. Cano's had a good day, two for two, and then Cruz is 0 for two. Cardinals now lead Texas 2 1, top of the fourth. Strike one to Franklin. That home run in the fourth, his first career hit against David Price, one for five. Coming into today's game, right handers were hitting 243, 10 homers against Bryce. Lefties 197, two homers. One one. See the Mariners get on another offensive role, winning role here against us. Starting here with Boston win this series and then go to, to Detroit. Interleague play follows the Cardinals. Pirates come to town. Offensively, they've been pretty good this year, averaging five runs a game and fairly consistent staying at that mark. And we've been hungering for that for years. Yeah, and I think it's been a real strength of this club as the offense. Fortunately, they have a couple of starters on the disabled list. Wade Miley going on the DL. Felix has been there. And Edgar Martinez, the guys that tell you, he has been a major impact in the offensive success. Two and two here to Goody. Price, after the home run to right, Price is really trying to keep that cut fastball in on his hands in this at bat. Pittsburgh, when they come into town, got some exciting players: Andrew McCutcheon, Jay Hay, Harrison, kid, they got Gong Ho Kong. That's good players. Two-two pitch. Base hit left center field. Part-time Goody getting it done. Able to get a fastball at 93 in the middle of the plate. Price had been throwing him the cutter. No. Had to get another bat. He singled on an 0 1 pitch in the first, singled to right, singled to left on a 1 2 pitch. You mentioned Mike, it looked like he was just trying to spoil it and wind up hitting it fair. They had shifted on him. It's two for two. It's interesting. He was on deck with the bat, getting loose, doing his normal routine, and then as he was walking home plate, he probably realized that wasn't the bat that has all the hits in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> Go back and get that one. <laughs> and 
line foul. Game two for two off the price. Pretty good. You mentioned it. Lefty's hitting just 197 at the start of the game. Yeah. Slugfest continues. Toronto trailing at Baltimore 7 4, bottom four. First team to 10 wins. A lot of good things to say about Cano regarding his uh, without Nuno. Stirring out there. All the good things you can say about Cano, another one. He's got a great eye at the plate. Terrific eye. He doesn't argue much, but when he does, he's typically right. Right, you know, when you go, you look at the box. Yeah. He's typically right. Did you say, I know that there's an old story about Willie Mays. Sonny would have struck it, swung at that pitch if he thought it was a strike. Didn't somebody, when you were playing, it was the same same kind of way? Edgar probably, yeah, right? Yeah, he'll let you know. Job foul. I thought it was interesting talking to Robbie yesterday and seeing that home run that he hit over the monster on Friday night and asking him if he changes his approach when he's playing in this ballpark. And he said right away, yes. And he's got plenty of experience here all those years with the Yankees. So he's comfortable he, here. Yeah, over 350 plate appearances, players that have that, he has the highest average at 341. And he said that he definitely does. And it's not about necessarily trying to hit the home run that way, but he, he just feels that he can miss a ball in the air and, it, and still have it hit off of that wall. That's how close it is. And he said, why wouldn't you take advantage of that? And numbers obviously support him on that. One two pitch. Center field. Jackie Bradley Jr. cruises back. Two outs here in the Mariners top of the six. Stick around after the game. Watch a new episode of Mariners All Access. Get exclusive player interviews, behind the scenes footage, and Mariners stories you can't find anywhere else. And if you do miss today's episode, tune in for re airs throughout the week. Local programming schedule. Visit rootsports.com. Mariner fan in the house. Heard from a bunch. Heard from some guys on social media. Some airmen who are in town. They're sporting their Mariner gear. Nelson Cruz strike out looking and bounced into a double play. Steve Johnson designated for assignment, cleared waivers. Club asked him to come back, and he said yes, and he'll be going back to Tacoma. And Jerry DePoto on the other day, he was hoping that would be the case, so it worked out. And I appreciate the help from Mike Curto, radio voice of the Rainiers. Info. Here's the one and Nelly the other way. And another cutter in on his hands. All right. Day's made. Bruins cap on this is one of the great sports towns in America. Oh, two to Nelly. Hit the other way, base hit. Goody will stop at second. And an opportunity for Day Ho Lee to pick up a run or two or three. Nelly breaks in 0 for 13 with that base hit. Well, he's finally able to get a pitch out over the plate. On the outer half. Two strikes, good hitting, goes with the pitch. We've seen him do that a bunch this year. Day Ho Lee today. Single to left. And a ground out to third. It's 
be the first opportunity for the Mariners to hit with a runner in scoring position this afternoon. That's how good Price mm. has been. Mariners as a team hitting 264 runners in scoring position. Boy, he wanted that one, didn't he? No. Elevated cutter didn't quite get it in. Out over the plate. Many times you've taken that walk where you sit there and you have a conversation with yourself, just beating the heck out of yourself. Way, too many, way too many times. <laughs> yeah, right. Because you know you're probably not going to see that pitch again. Right. Especially against a quality pitcher like David Price. Well, one pitch. He is quick regrouping. Yep. Good numbers. That's a foul. He's going to do some two strike hitting. The last couple of pitches have been up in the zone. Vasquez, the catcher, making a trip out to the mound. That last pitch was a changeup. Thursday in the Mariners 6 4 win at Tampa Bay. Deo, first inning RBI on a 1 2 pitch, a fourth inning two run double on a 2 2 pitch. So he's had some recent success behind in the count. Price ready, 0 2 pitch. Two out, two on. Maybe four misses away. Think of a pickup to sign David Price as a free agent. They loved him in Toronto last year, 9 and 1, a 2 3 0 ERA. As we mentioned postseason over the course of his career. And had the success he's had in the regular season, two and seven with a five-one-two ERA. He's got 111 wins against 60 losses. One-two to Deo. Up the middle, take Pedroia right to the back. Bears get two hits, strand two. Still lead one nothing. To the bottom of the sixth here in Boston. We take a look at our Columbia Bank difference in the game. 
Mr. Walker quitted himself quite well today. No, you're right. Five innings, six hits, did not give up a run, had just the one walk, a big key in this game. Three strikeouts for him. He threw 88 pitches. Wasn't able to get deep in the ball game, but again, coming off the injury that he suffered in Tampa, it's a good outing for him. Mariner is scoring just the one run on the solo home run. Bill Kruger joins us from Back and Forth Sports Desk. And hey, holding the number one offensive team in the American League to six hits and no runs, Bill, got a lot to like there. All right, Bill, thank you very much. It was impressive. He's in line, Taiwan, to get a win here today. And right now, boy, tip of the cap to Sean O'Malley cutting off that base hit and holding Bogarts to a single. Great because job. It, because it was a bullet into the gap. He was all over it. Nice job, Sean O'Malley. Just the second start in left field. Speed really came in handy. Here's Ortiz, 0-1. Pappy today is struck out and hit into a double play. Don Nuno is taking over for the Mariners. 24 appearances, a 1-4-4 ERA is really pitched well. 29 strikeouts to only four walks for him in 25 innings. Opponents hitting 232 off of Nuno. Fastball right around 90 miles an hour. A variety of breaking balls and changeup. Most popular man in Boston here. David Ortiz, 0 1 from Nuno outside. Ortiz, 1 for 4 career against Nuno. John Farrell's ball club trying to break through here. Line drive going foul. Changing speeds again, took a lot off of it. To 76 miles an hour. Ortiz this year hitting 250 against lefties. He has 18 home runs on there, just two against left handers. Another big crowd here, Father's Day in Boston. As a matter of fact, a huge crowd, I'm sure. Today, I don't see any empty seats. There were a few the last couple of days 35,896. Another big crowd last night. Here we go. One and two. That's in the gap. That's trouble. Bogart's flying. He's going to get the third. Here's the throw to third. Ortiz sets up first and third. Nobody out in the six. Mariners guarding a one nothing lead. It's going to bring up Henley Ramirez. Ramirez one for two in the ball game. He had a base hit back up the middle as we take a look at the swing by Ortiz. Trying to get to the outside corner. Not a bad pitch by Nuno. Pretty good hitter at the plate. Mm -hmm. Number two in the league. David Ortiz. So now you got Hanley Ramirez one for two. Single to center in the fourth. And when Diaz will start to get loose in the pen for the Mariners. Ground ball. Marte. Cano. Runs going to score. And Ramirez beat it out. Slow roller. Didn't help the cause. Tie ball game at one more.
scoring on a play Bogart eliminated is Ortiz you can see Marte charging the ball and trying to get rid of it quickly just to give Cano a chance clearly beats it one out a run in one on Of Jackie Bradley Jr. He is one for four in his career against Nuno. One hit, a double. Ball one. Trying to throw a double play ball here. Delivers a strike. Mariners have the shift on with Bradley hitting. On one count, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here is it first. Here is Joyce RBI. Way out in front, one and two. The success that the Red Sox are enjoying. Mookie Betts, Jackie Bradley Jr., Bogart for their development over the last two years has been outstanding. That is a young, very talented outfield. Run. 2 2 pitch coming from Nuno. Uh -oh. They got Ramirez Deo. Gonna run it to Marte, and that'll do it. So 1 3 6 to get Ramirez round number two. As if he wasn't paying attention at all. Mm -hmm. Nuno noticing he's not watching and surprised Dale Lee a little bit too. He was expecting him to dive back into first. Oh, he was clearly. Yeah, yeah he was. wasn't watching at all. Good job by Nuno to pick that up. Advantage and the beauties of being left handed. Count. And he made a nice catchable throw. He didn't get too excited because, I mean, you catch a guy sleeping like that. Hold on, Yeah. <laughs> did that hit him? Yeah. It did. Take a look at it, see where it gets him. Back arm. Boy, that was a big ass to get Ramirez. He's young right handed hitter, so he's going to make a pitching change. Here comes Diaz, the hard throwing youngster. His first appearance here at Fenway Park. Here he comes. We'll take a break. 1 1 game here at Fenway in the sixth.
Park, everybody. Ride Sound Transit's new Link Light Rail stations on Capitol Hill or at the UW. The best seats in the house. Plan your trip at soundtransit.org. Luke Pitcher for the Mariners here with a two out, one on situation and a 1 1 game. Young Edwin Diaz. Just five appearances on the air, 1 4 2 ERA. Ten strikeouts, though, and six and a third. Opponents hitting 240 off of Diaz. Good fastball. He'll be anywhere from 93 to 98 miles an hour. Big slider. Got Chris Young double to left in the second, pop to Cano in the fourth. I thought it was interesting. Right before the pitching change was made, we saw Chris Ionetta slowly walk out to the mound, look into the dugout, get out to the mound, look into the dugout, was walking back, look back into the dugout again. And I'm sure that Scott Service was going to make the change, but I think Ionetta liked this matchup better. Uh oh, base hit, left field. Two hits for Chris Young. Got a pretty good fastball, too. 96 miles an hour on the inside corner. Trying to go away. You can see where Identa set up. Two outs, two on. Liam Travis Shaw, 0 for 2. Struck out looking in the second, popped out the Seeger in the fourth. Ninety seven first strike. Sox are 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position this afternoon. They scored their one run on a ground out. I'll tell you what, that 99 just got on top of Shaw. He, was, he did a heck of a job to foul that off. Chris Young at first, Jackie Bradley at second. Good speed out there. Pitch inside, backed him up. Backed him up with 100 miles an hour. Two pitch. Hello. Two and two. Converted starter. He's already had a positive effect on this ball club. Edwin Diaz. Call up from double A. Two two. Mariners got their run, fourth inning. Goody on a 3 2 pitch. Hit one down the right field line, kept it fair inside the pesky pole, 1 0. But now here in the sixth, Boston's tied it and threatening to take the lead. Diaz trying to get Travis Shaw. All fastballs. It's topped out at 100 miles an hour. Magnetic called time. Two two pitch that's up inside. Foul. First off speed pitch from Diaz. Texas and the Cardinals two two now top of the six. Houston three nothing over Cincy in the fifth. Baltimore eight four over Toronto bottom five. Here's Diaz now two and two. Runs full. Steve Vasquez on deck, the catcher. He's over two. Now coming alive here, Fenway Park. 
Got about 38,000 in here today. They jammed them in on Father's Day. 3-2 pitch from Diaz. Runners go. Pitch foul back behind home plate. See, this will be the ninth pitch of the at-bat. Pretty good battle going on. Really tried to pitch him inside with the fastball. The last fastball out over the plate. Huge out to get here. Cano in short right field for Travis Shaw. Third baseman for the Red Sox. Two on. Two out. Three two pitch. And now Diaz. Make sure that Bradley doesn't get a huge jump. Doesn't want him impersonating Usain Bolt out there. Here we go. Three and two to Shaw. Pitch from Diaz. Foul off again. Texas now leads 3 2 at St. Louis, top of the sixth. Pitch Moreland did a home run. And Mazzara just homered to make it 3 2. For a final out here in the six. Pitch from Diaz. Line drive. Look out. Foul ball. Last fastball at 97 miles an hour. It was on the inside corner, but it was down in the zone. A little bit easier for the left handed hitter to get the barrel to it. Pitch 11 coming up. Trying to keep it a tie ball game at 1 1. Here we go again. Pitch number 11. Walk the bases are loaded for Christian Vasquez. Oh, brother. What a battle. Mel Stottlemyre, pitching coach, making a trip out to the mound. Nobody getting loose in the Mariner pen. Seventh man to the plate. Not every day, you go to a ballpark and hear cream, sunshine of your love break <laughs> out in a bases loaded situation. Strikeout, a comebacker, and Adam Ball. Something right at a defender. Bases loaded, Bradley at third, Young at second, Travis Shaw at first. Inning started with a base hit to left center field. Bogart cut off nicely by O'Malley. First and third, then they got a went for a double play to slow hit ground ball. Ramirez got a fielder's choice RBI. Hit batter, base hit, and a walk, and they're loaded. Swing and a miss at 98. Vasquez is a 216 hitter. Oh, boy, he caught it. Oh, yes. Ketel Marte with a big play to keep this a 1-1 ball game on a screaming line drive off the bat of Christian Vasquez with the bases loaded. We go to break to catch our breath and marvel at the reacts time of Ketel Marte to come up large for the Mariners. 1-1 here in Boston.
Man, what a play. Thursday, June 30th is EQC Guys Night Out when the Mariners and Orioles face off at 710, a select terrace club or main level seat, and your first drink is yours for only 35 bucks. The ticket, this ticket special, is available only at Mariners.com slash guys. Tell you what, with the Red Sox, you can see them, we've read all their offensive numbers, but you have your eight and nine hitters in the lineup facing a guy that had topped out at 100, and they put two pretty good at-bats up against him. Kyle Seeger. Slicing drive, well touched, going back, <laughs> off the monster. Now slamming the brakes and hold with a lead-off single, Kyle Seeger. One for three today. Eighth hit for the Mariners this afternoon. It's a fastball in the middle of the plate. Good decision. He'll go probably almost halfway to second base before he decided to turn around and go back to first. He wanted to see what the throw was going to look like. Hard to believe we're in a 1-1 game top seven at Fenway. Yes, at Fenway Park. It's pretty good pitching this afternoon. Indeed. Price at 85 pitches, 61 strikes. And that bounced into a double play and took a called third strike. Strike one. Straight up. Double play depth. Space on the right side, though. Oh, and two. Price benefited from the double play to get out of trouble in the second and again in the fourth. Marin run coming on a Franklin Gutierrez home run, leading off the fourth. Lee Ramirez, Fielder's Choice RBI in the sixth tied it. Mariners get out of the sixth inning, leaving the bases loaded. Here's the 0-2 to Ionetta with Seeger at first. On hold by Price. Strike three, call. Second time. ionetta has been caught looking today. Strikeout number five. His last victim was Ionetta back in the fifth. Well, he has thrown a lot of strikes today and a lot of quality strikes, and that one probably just off the inside corner, but he ends up getting the call. So his ground ball rate on his changeup at 54%. If he's trying to get a double play, he'll probably go to that pitch. Martin with a broken bat single to right. It's for the second time up. First time he flied to right. Bouncing ball foul. Festive day here, Fenway Park, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody watching. One here to Martin. being aggressive trying to get good secondary lead. Wonder if Ramirez 
Ramirez ended up hitting him in the face when he was trying to tag mm. him. It's been known to happen over yeah. the years. Popped it up. Pedroia going back. Two away. Join us Tuesday during the Mariners game for Twitter Tuesday. You're going to have five chances to win exciting prizes just by interacting with us on Twitter throughout the ball game. Going to be posting questions. Want to hear from you, so be sure to watch and follow us on Twitter at RootSports underscore NW. Giveaway rules go to RootSports.com. And here's a look at your matchups for the upcoming series in Detroit. Brought to you by CenturyLink. That Tuesday matchup, Paxton against Erland. JV's been, last couple outings been pretty good. See if O'Malley can make something happen with two outs. He's 0 for 2, popped up to the catcher, grounded out to third. You're talking about Seeger probably or possibly getting hit in the face. I remember when the great Luke Easter passed, some of the, when you read some of the obits, they always talked about the big first baseman left handed and put it picked. on you. Oh, <laughs> oh, I mean, it was like. You know, it was like Rocky Marciano, Sugar Ray Robinson hitting you with a jab. You know, ba -boo! <laughs> one one to Sean, batting ninth today. Ground ball to short. Bogarts to dry a short way, and that's it. Lead off single goes for not. We go to the bottom of the seventh here at Fenway Park. Father's Day. Stay right here for patriotic tribute. Got a lot of sailors in the house here today. It's great to see them. They, they honor to our great country. Make dreams come true for the families of New England. Each afternoon you aid in these life-changing efforts by supporting the 50-50 raffle. Today's winning numbers are now posted on the center field video board. And now, before Josh Cantor leads us in the singing of Take Me Out to the Ball Game on the Fenway organ, we ask you to please rise. Here to perform God Bless America, please welcome a member of the Jewish Chorus of Western Massachusetts, Markela, a resident of Longmeadow, Massachusetts, Bill Squire. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home.
Check winning numbers. Stretch. Check winning numbers. It's all possible if you download Washington's Lottery Mobile app play today. Good scenic look, Boston, Massachusetts. Voting community having a good day. 1 1 ball game here. Can you believe that? 1 1 ball game here at Fenway Park. The two top offenses in the American League. Top the order. Against Edwin Diaz, it'll be Mookie Betts, Dustin Pedroia, Xavier Bogarts, Xander Bogarts, baby part. Inside, Betts today. Two singles to center and a strikeout. Diaz able to get out of the bottom of the sixth inning, topped out at 100 miles an hour. That's well strong. All kinds of trouble. It's gone. That kid can hit. Mookie Betts, 2 1, Boston. Three for four day, home run number 15, RBI number 50. Fifteen home runs from your leadoff hitter. You also leads your club in stolen bases. 94 mile an hour fastball right on the inside corner, and he turns it around. Up into the monster seats. Strike one to Pedroia. Two one Boston. First time. Sox have led today. Draw it today, one for three. Third inning single to center. Down to Seeger. Throws out Pedroia, one away. Bring up Bogart. Wonderful weather we've experienced here in Boston. Hopefully, we'll have the same in Detroit. 80 degrees when we started back in 135. Still 80 degrees here. One out, a run in. It'll bring up Bogart. Like one. Runs on 10 hits for Boston. Run on eight hits for the Mariners. He has 1 1 here. Rick Riz had it net. He didn't able to make a play. He and he ran up on the field. And it needed a fisherman's net to make that play. One and two. Rare that they get this high up, foul balls. What a shot by Mookie Betts. There's another chance. A little higher. Somebody must have made a clean catch. Yeah. And Ricky's starting to make me nervous. He's leaning over a little bit too far. Yeah, Aaron, I couldn't yeah. agree more. We'll go down to the clubhouse and get you on it. Yeah, really. Jeez. Oh, One and two. After a couple of pretty good swings on the fastball, with an off-speed pitch, 85 miles an hour, he was well out in front of it. Slider left it inside, trying to get it away from him. Both the slider so far inside. One and two to Bogart's leading hitter in the league. Strike three call, and he gets rung up, two down. Strikeout for Diaz. 
two outs and bring up David Ortiz. Fastball right at the knees. Bogarts thought it was down, but a good pitch. Brings up the number two hitter in the late, David Ortiz. Single to center in the sixth on a one two pitch. Did that against Vidal Nuno. Diaz, third pitcher today. Taiwan Walker, five innings of six hit shutout ball. One walk, three strikeouts. 1 0 pitch. Top of the eighth, Mariners will have the top of the order. Marte, Goody, and Cano. And they're going to put them on. One thing that we know about Ortiz is he can still hit a good fastball. And if he gets the count in his favor, he'll cheat a little bit on it. So Scott Service put him on. And over the years, we've seen him rise to the occasion many, many, many times. Two out, one on, one in. Right hand hitter Henley Ramirez coming one for three. Fielder's choice RBI in the sixth. And they cut, they get cut, looking out into the stars by Vidal Nuno. He picked them off. The sixth inning after that, reaching on the fielder's choice. That Lee is holding on Ortiz. He's not going to go anywhere. First to tell you, too. Oh Come my on. goodness, he took off. He did. Oh my limit. goodness. <laughs> oh man, he's two for two. Wow. I'm looking at Rick Rizzo looking at what was that? That is amazing. I think he just he kept inching off right there. I was watching him the entire way, and Diaz didn't pay any attention. Look how early he takes off. He had three steps towards second base. He's two for two, <laughs> and he's getting a standing O. Oh, man. That is amazing. Well, he's a baseball player. He's a smart guy. Popped up. He's not going to score, so that's some good news. Cano makes the play, but Big Poppy, we've got a chance to see it, Mike. And this is not slow mo. Big man, take it off. Hey, you're not going to pay attention. He'll be talking about that when we see him in August.
You bet. Let's see what pitch number 95 yields. First offering in the inning to Marte off the plate. Marte, Gutierrez, and Cano. Top of the order for the Mariners in a 2 1 game here at Fenway Park on Father's Day. And now the difference a home run by Mookie Betts. Mariners has been able to get some hits off of Price. They had eight in the game, but just the one run on the solo homer by Gutierrez who's waiting on deck. Price been in the strike zone, a lot of strikes today, has not walked anybody. Thought about bunning. We've got Junichi Tozawa and Robbie Rush Jr., number 28, the left hander. Getting ready. So that's a a brief time yesterday. 2 1 pitch here to Marte. We certainly would like to get something going here in this inning because afterwards, for the ninth inning, you have Kimbrell. Saw him yesterday and he was really throwing hard. His fastball was 98 miles an hour and he's been a hot pitcher for them. That's Given up anything at all. Oh, Kimbrough went pop, a fly ball, ground out, ground out. Game over. Ninth inning yesterday. John Farrell in his fourth year with the manager of this ball club. Ground ball, Shaw. And he throws out Marte. One out in the eighth. Make sure you fill out your 2016 All-Star Game ballot at Mariners.com on your computer, tablet, or smartphone, and send Robinson Cano to the Midsummer Classic. Vote up to 35 times just to make sure you vote Cano at Mariners.com slash vote. San Diego will be hosting the All-Star Game, and it is right around the corner. See if Gutierrez can get him again. Franklin Gutierrez, eight home runs on the year. Homer down the right field line on a 3 2 pitch leading off the fourth. Joaquin Benoit, Nick Vincent getting loose in the pen for the Mariners. Good cut, 0 oh 2. Hundred and one pitches. This season high is 114. He's done that a number of times. There's been one on the left, Nick Vincent on the right. Mike Hampton, open coach supervising. Oh two. Ball one. Price with 7 0 2 counts today. Really mixed it up. Had a good fastball right around 93 miles an hour. Number of cutters that he's been able to use on the inside part of the plate to the right handed hitters. Pretty good changeup. All two strikes. Five strikeouts. He had 11 strikeouts in his last outing when he went eight innings. Didn't have a walk in that one either. Top echelon pitching. One, two. Missed with the curveball. He hasn't thrown his curveball much today. Really hasn't needed it. Two highest scoring teams in the American League. Red Sox at 5.79, Mariners at 5.0. It's a 2 1 game in the eighth. Two 2 pitch here to Goody. Just got a 
apiece. Goody strike out a home run and a base hit the center. Big 2 2 pitch. Right, three call. Two outs. I got number six for David Price. Fastball right on the outside corner. 93 miles an hour. That'll bring up Cano. Cano is two for three this afternoon. 6K day for David Price. Price against the Mariners in his career. This is his sixth start. He's two and one with a 2.48 ERA. Bobby Cano extended his hitting streak to eight games. First inning single to right, fourth inning single to left, third time up, fly to center. You see they have the shift on that's the reason why he was showing fun. I think he was just going to take the pitch the entire way he wasn't going to try to bunt. Keeping score at home, David Ortiz is four for four in base stealing against the Mariners, 13 for 22 against everybody else. One to one to rub. All two strikes. Crowd energized. They're hoping for a strikeout. Cano trying to keep this at bat alive, keep the inning alive. Here in the eighth in a 2 1 ball game. Mariners hit a 1 0 lead. Goody's home run in the fourth carried it into the sixth. RBI by Ramirez. Betts put him ahead in the seventh with a home run. Bryce ready. And the 1 2 pitch. Struck him out. Strikeout number seven. Eight strong innings for David Price. 2 1 Red Sox. Seattle Mariners baseball on Root Sports is brought to you by Jack in the Box. It's back. The Portobello Mushroom Buttery Jack tasted before it's gone at Jack in the Box. 
by CenturyLink, your link to what's next. And by Money Tree, proud to make a donation to Mariners Care for every Mariners win. Glorious scenery this Father's Day. Hope you're having a great one. Not a good one, a great one. Mariners trail here, two to one. And Nick Vincent going to take over in the mound for the Mariners. Third man out of the pen today. 30 appearances on the year. ERA under three at a 2.90. 37 strikeouts, just seven walks in the 31 innings that he has worked. Opponents hitting 209. His fastball will be right around 90 miles an hour. Has a cutter at 88 and a slider. Jackie Bradley Jr., his first hitter. Jackie today, single to center, popped to short, was hit by a pitch. Thirty-seven thousand two hundred eleven on hand here at Fenway Park. A good three days for him. Thirty-seven one ninety-five last night. Thirty-five eight nine six on Friday. And we call it Greg Kimball, a very hot reliever right now. Closer. He's getting ready to pitch the ninth. The Mariners will have four, five, and six coming up. Cruz, Lee, and Siegel. First things first. Mr. Vincent needs to post the zero. He did go. Pretty good cutter in off the plate. Full count to his first hitter, Nick Benson. Gonna face Chris Young next. Shadows were a factor yesterday, starting to creep. We were a four o'clock start yesterday. And now 422 Eastern. St. Louis has retaken the lead against the Rangers, 4-3 in the seventh. Houston four nothing over Cincinnati middle of the seventh in Houston. Angels lead at Oakland one nothing bottom one. Not off. American yeah. League action How about this one like eight six Baltimore over Toronto top seven. Fourteen hits for Baltimore six runs on seven hits for Toronto. Six runs on seven. It's had to be a couple of home runs in there. Check it out. I think the usual. I'm going to guess <laughs> the usual suspects have checked in. That's tagged deep into the triangle, and it is off the wall out there, digging for three. And they're going to make it easy. Jackie Bradley Jr. just missing a home run. Man, did he give that a ride! Jackie Bradley Jr. That's his sixth triple. And another long at bat on the eighth pitch. Just misses the home run and hits right off the top of the wall. And he wasn't sure. That was 420 feet away with a tall wall. Once he gets out of that corner, it's an easy triple for him with his speed. And then didn't even have to go to high gear. Bring the infield in. A lead off triple. Chris Young to hit it. Looks at a strike. Chris, two for three today. Double to left, single to left. Popped out to Cano. Sandwich in between those two base knocks. Cut off this run. Outside. Mariners pitching has been very good in the situation today. Red Sox hitting 291 as a team with runners in scoring position at the start of this game. They are 0 for 8. Scored on a ground out and a home run. 1 1 pitch. He did go. All two strikes. Another 
tight spot here, one and two. Strike three called, ring them up, one down. Time for a cricket. Something to smile about today's attendance 37,211. One out man in third. We'll bring up third baseman Travis Shaw. He'll put him on. Ask as the catcher waiting on deck number nine hitter. Put him on, try to get the double play. at the corners one out Vasquez is hit into three double plays it's 41 previous ball games Pedroia leads the team in that category with 12 the dead springing today bring the family here to the ballpark a lot of families here. Father's Day. Intentional walk. Grab a shot that'll bring up Christian Vasquez. He's lined out to right, popped out to short, and a hard liner snared by Marte to end the six with the bases loaded. Mel Stottlemyre making a trip out to the mound. Nobody getting loose in the Mariner pen, so he just wants to go over the scouting report. So they can figure out a plan to try to get the double play ball. About that Toronto game, Devin Travis has knocked in three runs. He hit a home run to Lewitsky hit a home run. Baltimore Weeders a home run. To Lewitsky just came off the disabled list, yeah. I think. Ball right to Marte or to Seeger. Turn two, Vasquez, the catcher batting in a nine hole. Nick Vincent trying to keep it a two one ball game. There's pitch. Showed bump. Ball one. We seen a suicide squeeze this year. I don't think we no. have. We've seen a couple attempts at safety squeeze. Safety, yes. Which is what that would have been. See, so yeah, and then uh, giving the signs. What he's doing is letting the middle infielders know if they're going to make a throw down to second base. If Shaw decides to steal, if he's not going to throw it, then the infielders don't have to move and vacate their positions. 1-0 pitch to Vasquez, runners at the corners. Pitch from Vincent. But popped it up, Dejo's there. Throw to third, safe. Two well, down. That, that was right in front of the Mariners' dugout, and they didn't think so. They thought he had him out. Scott Service is going to make him wait a second to see if they want to challenge it. Here you go, Deoli charging, gets the bunt. He did not hesitate at all. He clearly beats it. That was a good call. So two outs runners hit the corners. Top of the order, Mookie Betts. Back safely, Bradley. And Betts, Betts is three for four. He's been wearing them out. Including a home run. Single in the first, got caught stealing. Single in the third, struck out in the fifth. Homered up into the monster seats in the seventh inning. Right now, that's the lead for the Boston Red Sox, 2 to 1. And the Red Sox this afternoon, 0 for 10, runners in scoring position. 
Make it 0 for 11 here. Yes, Give sir. the Mariners a chance in the ninth. Cruz, Lee, and Seeger will be facing Kimbrell. Two on Sox. One on the pitch here. There's a strike. Craig Kimball has really been pitching well. He's dominated. So advantage Nick Vincent one and two to Mookie Betts. Walker started for the Mariners five innings shut out ball six hits one walk three K's left with the lead but now it's 2 1 Boston. Foul off by Beck. It's a good pitch by Nick Vincent. He's been going away with his cutter and his slider and came back in with a 90 mile an hour fastball tied him up. They would have put it in play it would have been. Off, he ended up jamming him. Huge spot here, one and two runners at the corners. Pitch from Vincent, hit the other way. Dejo Lee will take it to the bag. So the Mariners, down one, will face Greg Kimbrell, and they're going to bring up Cruz, Lee, and Seeger in a one-run game. Here as the Mariners down 2 1, going up against one of the best closers in the game. How about the performance David Price turned in today? Very impressive. Eight innings, eight hits, one run. It was earned a solo home run by Franklin Gutierrez. Did not walk a batter, had seven strikeouts, and he threw 110 pitches. And for Kimbrell, 15 saves and 17 opportunities, ERA just over two, 38 strikeouts and 26 and a third opponents hitting. 125 against him. Good fastball. He will be in the upper 90s with a hard slider. Nelson Cruz 0 for 1 career against Kimbrell. Take one.
chasing him too. Yeah. Looking for the good fastball from him. He started him off with two sliders. As unique an address point as you'll ever see from Craig Kimball. Here's the 0 2. All sliders. One out. Three sliders in a row. Going to have a pinch hitter for Lee, it'll be Adam Lynn. Adam with a home run in yesterday's ball game, his ninth. Lynn faced Kimbrell in yesterday's game on a 1-2 pitch ground and out the second. Route number two. First pitch from Kimbrell. Backs him off, ball one. Feel deep for Lind. Got to tie it up. No, just really speeds him up. Throws 98 miles an hour inside on him off the plate for a ball and comes back with a slider. About 86. On one pitch. Good heater and really good command of the breaking ball. Yeah, today he does the other. When we saw him yesterday, he was basically just staying with his fastball, but today more sliders than the fastball. In fact, we've only seen one fastball, 98. One and two, Adam Lind. Outside ball two. <laughs> His Red Sox fans wanted that one. Two and two. And just off the outside corner with the slider. If he can catch up to pitch, he can drive out of here. Two and two, two one ball game. Rubber match of this weekend series for the Mariners head off to Detroit. Two two to Adam. Comes the pitch, fouled it back. Third team, Atlanta, San Diego, and now Boston. Adam Lind, pitch. Stop him out, two down. And right back to the slider after fouling the fastball. Uh, it's just so difficult to lay off of this pitch when you're having to get ready for 98 to 100 miles an hour. A couple of strikeouts from Kimbrell on the slider down out of the strike zone. Seager sit on that slider right now, first pitch. I, again, I think you have to stay on his fastball, at least early in the count, because that's the pitch that he could do some damage with, especially with two outs now and down a run. I'd like to see Kyle try to catch up to a fastball. If you miss it, then I, I think at that point, survival mode. First pitch to Kyle. And it was the fastball fouling it back. You know, most of the time you'll hear guys talk about staying on the fastball and read the rest of it. But when you have somebody that throws as hard as Kimbrell does, you really have to guess or look for a certain pitch or look in a certain area. 2 1 ball game, two out, nobody on. 0 1 pitch here from Kimbrell. Ball one. What a break. This fastball today is consistently at 98 miles an hour. One one to Kyle C. Battling Craig Kimball. Right two. Mariners down to their last strike. Out of 
37,211. Just about everybody still in their seat in the ballpark. Now standing here at Fenway Park. One, two pitch to Kyle Seeger. Swing and a miss. He strikes out the side to close out the game. 2 1 final. Red Sox win it. They take two out of three for the Mariners. This was a good game, though. It was a good game, and it, we knew that this was going to be a tough stretch of games for the Mariners. They win just the one game here in this series. Head off to Detroit for four, which is going to be difficult as well. Taiwan Walker threw the ball well after the injury, went five innings, did not give up a run. Thought the bullpen did an excellent job holding the Red Sox to an 0 for 11 Oof. with runners in scoring position. Mariners now 2 and 4 on this road trip, 6 and 12 in the month of June, thanks to Stephanie Kelly. Mike and Leo here in the booth in Boston. Always a pleasure to be with you folks here in Beantown. Catch you tomorrow on the radio side. Aaron Goldsmith will be over here for the Detroit series. Mariners postgame presented by Delta Airlines starts right now with Brad and Bill.